Good evening, goeie naand. Sal bona, san banani. Welkom, welkom, welkom. I'm so happy to see each and every one of you. A new year and um, my, 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 just how does the time flies by? I trust that every one of you had a good festive season. Um, obviously, by the grace of God, we survived it. But happy to see you, Ronel. Also, so blame for you to see from Dubai. I feel that it's so like a novel. You was like you can see, but also blame. You saw me dance in Cornier. My word in Mia. All the part from Belgium. Af. I say praise the Lord for technology. And for elke ander in each and every one that is on the call. Um, I'm so grateful, so thankful to see you guys here and um, I trust that this year is going to be a awesome year and that not one of our prayers was in vain last year. So if you have got a great expectation, then I am excited with you. Um, the, in our, the New Year's uh, message um, went out uh, prophetically that this is the year of breakout and breakthrough. So we are going to break out and we are going to break through and um, we are going to trust God for, for, for miracles for signs and wonders and miracles. We are living in the end times. We are living in the last of days and you're hearing all these scary stuff. Please do not be shaken. This is the last days. And I am excited for that because I know Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. And until then, we will keep on watching. We will keep on praying. We will keep on holding on and we will just keep on keeping on. Now, um, I just want to share a short encouragement uh, with you um, before um, we uh, proceed. Uh, the, the theme of our month is because it is the first year, uh, month of the year, um, it is put God first. And that is not only just for January, but that is for your everyday life. Put God first. First in the morning, start your day with God. Put God first right throughout the day. Put God first in your worship, in your time of prayer and worship. Put God first. Um, Dr. Gustav, he said he uh, made a very interesting, uh, it's not a statement, it's a truth. He said, how you start your year is how you're going to finish your year. If you are slack and lazy, then you're going to be slack and lazy right throughout the year. This is not from us. He spoke um, yesterday, but remember that, make a note, how you start your year, that is how you're going to finish your year. And remember in December, we had, uh, we, we said we are going to finish strong. So now the beginning of this year, we are starting strong. And we can only start strong if we have got a strong foundation. Um, I love Psalm 11 verse 3, I think, that says, um, uh, um, if the foundation is shaken, what can the righteous do? When the foundation is shaken, the righteous can stand firm on the word of God. They can stand firm on the promises of God. That is what we can do. And to build a strong foundation is to dig into the word, to see God in, in prayer like never, ever before. Um, I was worried uh, about this verse in Revelation 2, uh, verse 4, is open bottom 2, verse 4, that uh, say, yeah, the the Heere sê, het een ding teen jou, en dit is dat jy jou eerste liefde verlaat het. Do not leave your first love. Do not lo lose your first love, because um, God wants us in this year, the year of breakout and the year of breakthrough, God wants us to go from, from surviving to thriving. Uh, many times when I speak to people and I ask them how they are, I say, 
oh, you know, I barely just get around. No, we are more than conquerors. We are seated in heavenly places. We have got authority. We are not in survival mode. We are going to thrive like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. But you have to grasp it. You have to start believe it. You have to start proclaim it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for each and every one although it was um, like holiday um, we never stopped praying once I trust that you have got your little prayer book like mine mine is quite full written already for the new year all the prayer requests as we pray along we are going just to lay our hands on our prayer request two recent miracles God did was for our brother Sydney Pastor Etienne Galdenais's father he was admitted to hospital everybody of you know that and um, with uh, uh, um, COVID struggling to breathe in ICU and like just like that he was discharged from hospital and so by the way it is brother Sydney who you pray so much for it is his birthday today and he is 83 years and um my husband uh, he he led my husband to, to the lord jesus and by the grace of god my husband stood firm until the very very last breath and we want to give god the glory um, brother shawkat's wife um, del sima she we were worried about her she was also sick and um, we prayed for her. she still needs some prayer she is still in pain but she's up and and she's around but we are going to pray for her uh, south africa needs our prayers families needs our prayers Couples and children, youth, they need our prayer. Uh, interesting fact about our president, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. I don't know how many of you know that he was, he is, was a born again believer in his youth days. He used to work in the team of Reinhard Bonker. So there was a time that he was saved. And now I'm praying more fervently than ever before that the Holy Spirit will just touch his life again, that he won't be led by man, but he, that he will be led by the Spirit of God when he sits in Parliament or wherever they have their meetings, that he will have the courage, the ability to stand up and say, thus say the Lord for South Africa. Is that impossible tonight? No, because what we think is impossible is possible with God. So we are going to trust God this year. We are going to start strong. We are going to stay strong and we are going to trust God like never before for our breakout and for our breakthrough. Businesses are struggling we speak Jesus. We declare the Lordship over our businesses. We declare the glory of the Lord will just arise over each and every circumstance. So let us start to pray. Um, before um, I ask Cornelia, I just want to find out, Robert, um, on very, very short notice on number 99, I did send you a video. I don't know if you had a chance to look at it um, and if you are able to, uh, to share it with us. Um, if you can quickly just open your mic so that I can know. If you didn't receive it or couldn't do anything, not to worry. I've I'll heard. Go to group. I've got it. Are you ready for it? Uh, let me just share just a second. Okay, while uh, you share, um, I've got a little American preacher here tonight. Um, because he, American, his accent is a little bit different. But if he can pray like that, what is wrong with us? Thanks, Robert. Just hang on. Uh, does want to come through just a second we got the voice but i haven't got the vision the the visual I'm, uh, I'm not getting it the 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 first one didn't come through okay 
Um, I'm just going to have to play the voice because apparently it says uh, for pro the video will disappear after you close it. So you, um, I don't know why. Sorry, why Robert, I only just thought about that before the prayer meeting, but that is okay. Um, I am going to share it in the prayer group and then each and everyone can take a thorough look. And I, uh, once again, I say, if this little preacher can do that i'm sure we can do better but thanks a million robert well, do you want I... me to play the voice or that? yes you can do that okay let us pray i agree in the clear god you granted the children supernatural strength and ability of faith and good final faith. I decree and declare they are qualified to share Jesus' inheritance. I decree and declare they are written down to God. I decree and declare they are sovereign to live up and down to the faith. I decree and declare they are restored of my will. I decree and declare they are abandoned up for Christ. The land of the world. I decree the clerk to leave power of love to lay hands on these sick and they shall recover. I decree the clerk that they are anointed by God. I decree the clerk there is a hand of protection around them. I decree the clerk that will never be brought the day of their life. I decree the clerk I will buy for them. Well, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I decree and declare that the cross filled with multiple streams of income at a young age. I decree and declare that the cross filled with multiple, multi million dollar ideas, inventions, and strategies. I decree and declare that a God representative. And the earth room. I decree and declare God to have authority and power to expose Satan's tactics and all of his attacks. I decree and declare no weapon force against them shall prosper. I decree and declare their abuse by stress of Jesus Christ when the grant of their hands to stand at our feet. I announce that to God who are blessed with in you, God, and the power of them. It is not by their mind, nor by their power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. When the enemy talk about the blood, you're going to lift up a standard against them, the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um. If the, the sound um, wasn't good, I did send it in the, our group. So please have a look at it and enjoy. Cornier, over to you. And after you have ministered to us, and just also remember that we always pray for you, Brother Cornier. He is a missionary with a heart for souls and also working and winning souls there in where, where they live in Belgium. But thank you so much for being on the call. Over to you. And then Brother Shoki can just follow up on after Cornier. Yes, good evening. Good uh, evening, Amelia and all, all the viewers. It's good to see you. We all bless beautiful people, blessed people, high favored people sitting in the heavenly, sitting in with Jesus, baptized with the Holy Ghost on fire. And you know, here in, in Belgium, it's freezing outside, but in the house is fine and we are on fire for Jesus. Our hearts are uh, ablaze. Yes, I want just to, uh, yeah, what, what the church bet, uh, uh, is betreft, the, the, the church is growing uh, spiritually and um, yeah, it's very fine, good. And we are uh, we are excited, and uh, yes, we uh, stand samen for the things that are come, the best day for us. But I will you a bit a word. I have here a word and a phrase. I speak a bit English and, and, and Afrikaans. Ne? Afrikaans is a mooie taal. I live in South Africa. A phrase to be. Uh, from verse 12. 
Jullie was in die tijd zonder Christus. Zonder hoop en zonder God in die wereld. Maar nou in Christus Jezus zegt jullie wat vroeger ver was naar bij gekomen door die bloed van Christus. Blessed people, wonderful people, before we were without God and without hope. But now we know Jesus, by the blood of Jesus we know him, we have a hope. In, we, we are with God in this world and we have a hope in this world. And not only for this world, but a hope for eternity. We have eternal view, an eternal perspective. And we have the, the, the most of the people on planet Earth, they don't have hope. They are lost, with their, uh, they are without God in this world and no hope. But we have a hope and with God is with us. And uh, I was thinking about John 16 and uh, when, when Jesus gave his last uh, teachings the day before he was crucified in John 14, 15, 16. And in 16 he says, uh, he, sa he says there uh, to his disciples, it's better for you that I go. But they were, they were, uh, they were um, dismayed and afraid and they were worried and uh, actually they were uh, dismayed that Jesus was going to leave and they couldn't comprehend at all. But he said, it's better for you that I go because when I do not go, the Holy Spirit, the comfort of the Holy Ghost cannot come to you. So he was sending someone better than Jesus, what Jesus could do. Could do. And uh, th that's why the Holy Spirit was poured out into our hearts. God, the Holy Spirit, living within us, is with us, the comfort of the, the paracleta, he that is uh, with us, and he guides us and he teaches us all things. And we are therefore not alone, but we are special people. We are VIPs. We are children and sons of God on planet Earth, making a major difference. And the only thing is that we just have to lean on the Holy Spirit so that he can work through us. And uh, ik heb hier nog een skriffie over, over gebed. En dat is, dat is ook wat de Heilige Geest doet. Hè? In Romeinen 8, vers 26. En... Net zo kom ook die geest onze zwakheden te hulp. Praise God, praise God for weaknesses. We are weak. The more we understand that we can do nothing without God, the grace of God will increase in a measure that the Holy Ghost can work through us what we cannot do but what God can do. So net zo kom ook die geest onze zwakheden te hulp. Want ons weet niet recht wat ons moet bid niet. Ons kan niks. People, this good news, we do not know what to pray. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah about that? We, yes, we pray, but then the Holy Spirit steps in and he prays through us. He, he prays through us sometimes when we pray in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings down from heaven. He downloads from heaven what God has intended for us, what He, what Jesus said, uh, 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 what he has, uh, what they betaled on the cross. Those things, what God has for us, because we do not have the spirit of the world, but we have the spirit of God. So that we can know exactly what is given from God to us. So we are weak, but we have a strong Holy Ghost with us. And we do not know. That's good news. But when he comes, the Holy Spirit, we will know what God has, what God says, what he thinks about us, how he sees the world, how he, how he sees revival, how we can bring revival, how we can change the miraculous, how we can change the things we cannot change, how he brings, uh, uh, how we order bright in chaos, in chaos, he brings order. And he downloads that wisdom and that knowledge, the Holy Ghost, and that he prays that through us. Hallelujah, that's good news. So we have the Holy Spirit, the Comforter with us, helping us every day. And the only thing that we must do, we must lean to the Holy Spirit. Cling to him, lean to him, ask Holy Spirit, guide me in this way. What he, he, can, he gives us everything that we need. And Lord, it is wonderful that we can pray, that we can talk to you. 
because without the Holy Spirit, we also we cannot talk to God, but we can talk to you, Father, through Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are on planet Earth, that you are that we are baptized with you, that you are with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for South Africa. It is the most blessed uh, uh, country on planet Earth. South Africa is blessed because we are living. You are living in South Africa, and I'm living here in this, in this place. And therefore, this place is blessed because the church is here. The, the people of God are, are here. And the heaven, heaven comes down, and the heaven works through us. That we, we walk under an open heaven. And South Africa has also an open heaven because its people are there. And therefore, South Africa is blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for South Africa. Thank you for Belgium. Thank you for the people on this, uh, uh, on this uh, platform. All your people in South Africa. Thank you for the church. Thank you for Ramaphosa. Lord, we call him back out of his, out of his sleepiness. I don't, we didn't know, but we call him back. And Holy Spirit, you do a miraculous work in people that is to convince of sin that we are lost. That means that we are lost without God. Lord, bring that re revelation back in Ramaphosa and all the people in South Africa and even here in Belgium. And Lord, we thank you for a, a mighty harvest, a mighty revival. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It was such a blessing. Thank you, Kurnia. Heavenly Father, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we honor you and we bless you for your faithfulness that you've kept us through an entire year and you brought us safely into a year of such exciting things that lies ahead for us. Father, I thank you for every single one on this call and their families and every family that is represented on this call and on this platform. I thank you that you love us so much that you've done what you've done when you sent your son Jesus to die for us on the cross of Calvary. I thank you for your resurrection power in every home. I thank you for a year that you've, you've a year of outbreak and, and breakthrough and break out in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for my brothers and sisters on this call that no one, no one will, will miss out on anything this year. I thank you that this is a fresh start, a fresh year. I thank you for a fresh anointing on every single one on this call and their families. I thank you for what you're doing in every household represented on this call in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you are bringing things into alignment. Father, we sometimes, even myself, I use it so lightly, so loosely, bringing things into alignment. But I pray even in that that your rulership and your kingdom and your government authority of heaven brings into alignment, breaks down every yoke and bondage and fetter and boundary of the enemy, smashes up every wall and every illegitimate structure and puts into place that thy kingdom come and that thy will would be done in everyone's lives and in every family in the mighty name of Jesus. You will miss out on nothing. You will keep the pace. You will run the race. You will complete what God has intended for you to complete in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are breaking off the limitations. You are breaking every everything that's been a limitation and an imitation. That you are smashing those things up. That it is the true church that will arise in this time. Even in this country. And even in the countries represented on this call. That thy kingdom come. I thank you that when we say that thy kingdom come. We can picture and we can declare with the authority of heaven. That heaven's authority. The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom, the government of heaven. As it is in heaven, let it be. Let it be on this earth. In this country, in every household, in every part of the body of Christ, thy kingdom come. I thank you for the authority of heaven that rests on everyone on this call. I thank you that where the enemy has maybe tried to steal and rob and, and strip people's identities and their true identities in you over this past year, last year. But guess what? He has given us a new song to sing in this year. He has lifted up our inner being and we will push through every barrier and break through like never before. I thank you for faith that will arise up in everybody's hearts and in their spirits not to back down. No matter what the circumstance or the situation, 
no matter what impossibilities are around him, no matter the negativity, but a faith will arise up inside of you and cause such a stirring. I ask for and pray for over my brothers and sisters on this call and even over this nation, the fire from the throne room of heaven to burn up the things that's been keeping us back and that we would push for. We need a pushing from the Holy Spirit like never before. That in the backing from heaven, I thank you, Father, for fulfilling your purpose in everybody's lives. I thank you for those on this call and this platform in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for every effectual door that has been opened up even in the spirit right now, that we will walk in the abundance of heaven, the abundance of heaven, where we will lack no good thing, that we will walk in divine health and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that has risen up against us, every condemnation, every lie, every backbiting, every curse, everything that the enemy has shot, it will not take root. It will not come to pass because the word of God says that those weapons will not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray even into this evening that your abiding presence, the presence from the throne room of heaven, would encamp about, encircle about every person on this call, even in this nation, even at the start of this year. Father, we take authority over South Africa in the name of Jesus and we call her back to God. We call everything that is out of alignment back into the kingdom of God. We declare over this nation and over the borders of this country, over our government, we declare, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Let it be in this nation. We thank you for revival fire like never before. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for such restoration on the identities of my brothers and sisters, the identities in Christ. Restore back, restore back the true identities of the sons of God, where the enemy has tried to ruin and mess up. Thank you for restoring back people's names and their dignity. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are stirring up people that were forgotten, the people that were trampled on and, for, and pushed to the side. You are stirring them up and you are lifting them up and raising them up for a time now in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for an exciting year that lies ahead of us. I thank you even for your presence on these calls and many like these prayer platforms. We thank you for a year like never before that we will experience your presence and the physical manifestation like we've done before, like in measures that we've never experienced. We thank you that you love us and we bless you this night. We give you all the honor and the glory and the praise for who you are, for being that awesome father in heaven who loves us. Let us not forget that this mighty God loves us and he has the best in store for us. So we bless you and we love on you this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We just give you glory and honor and praise. We declare that you alone are worthy. You alone are Lord. We thank you, Lord. We're standing on a brink of a new year and we are excited. We have got great expectations that God is going to move in this year like we never, ever experienced. It's, it's going to cost us to seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and your word says then all the other things will be added unto that lord therefore i pray for each and everyone on this call tonight lord as we are sitting around this table from all um parts of the world i i bear up each and every one before you and i speak victory i speak healing i speak that this will be a prosperous year lord i thank you that this is going to be a fruitful year we give you glory and honor and praise just there where you are sitting in your chair don't you want to lift up your hands just and say thank you thank you jesus i accept it by faith by faith i believe that you are going to come through like never ever before because you are jehovah jireh our provider you are jehovah Rapha, our healer and lord speaking of healing we thank 
thank you, Lord, for a complete, complete recovery for our sister Dalsima in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, and we thank you for complete recovery for our brother Sydney in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory. And Lord, I want to pray while we are standing in agreement for brother Denver Dreyer, Dreyer one of our brothers, Lord. He needs a new kidney. Every day he has to go in for hours into a hospital for dialysis. Lord, this is the year of a breakthrough for our brother for a brand new kidney. Lord, many years ago, our um, own pastor, Dr. Gustav, he was born with only one kidney and um, he went to the doctor many years ago. Um, uh, he was raised with only one kidney and when they took a, a ultrasound, they saw that, they, that he's got two perfect kidneys. So God gave him a kidney and he never knew of it until that very day. Lord, I thank you that you can do the same for our brother Denver in the mighty name of Jesus. But however you want to do it, I pray that you will come through for him, that you will heal him completely in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, brother Shokat. I stand in agreement with his prayer. I stand in agreement with the word brother Cornier submitted and the prayers. I declare it with him that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against us in judgment, we condemn it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And uh, I thank you, Lord, that we can declare tonight that only you and you alone are our God. And besides you, there is no other God. You are a just God. You are our savior. You are our, our creator. Hallelujah. You are our redeemer, Lord. You are faithful. You are a loving God. You are our father and Jesus, the son and the Holy Spirit. We worship you tonight, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that your word says only goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Lord, I thank you that your word says tonight, if we submit ourselves to you and we resist the devil, he will flee from us in the name of Jesus. I command you tonight, you will flee from us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we submit ourselves afresh to you, Lord, in unreserved obedience. Having submitted us to you, Lord, we do as your word directs us. I thank you, as Brother Shoki prayed, let a fresh fire, a fresh anointing, a fresh touch of your Holy Spirit will just fall on us, Lord, and I resist the enemy and all his pressures and all his attacks, his deceptions, his lies, every instrument or agent that he would... Uh, use to against us we do not submit tonight i say we do not submit we resist you we drive us from you we exclude you from us in the name of jesus christ and lord i come against every form of witchcraft if i see what is happening in our country i can just say lord have mercy over south africa and each country we block the every form of witchcraft, every influence of the occult, Lord, um, the spirit of infirmity, um, infections, malignancies, viruses, pain, inflammation, allergies, Anandi, who also is not feeling well, pray that you touch her right now in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of depression, every spirit of heaviness, you will go, every spirit of confusion and deception, you will go, you will leave right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of accusation and condemnation, you will go. I command you to go in Jesus. And I want to say, leave God's people alone. We are covered under your blood, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you confuse the plans which the enemy has against us. And Lord, I thank you that through the 
sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. We have passed out from under the curse. We are not under the curse, but we entered into the blessings of Abram, whom you blessed. Lord, and I thank you. Tonight we can declare we are blessed. We are blessed in the field. We are blessed in the city. Our baskets are blessed. Our wallets, our bank accounts are blessed. Our bodies are blessed, Lord. Everything our hands touched are blessed, Lord. And I uh, pray that you will really release a supernatural breakthrough blessing over each and everyone. And I thank you, Father, for your favor. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your provision. I thank you for your protection over us. I thank you for good health in 2022. I thank you for victory in 2022. I thank you for fruitfulness. I thank you for reproductiveness. I thank you for prosperity in 2022. We give you all the glory and I bless each and everyone on the call in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare it tonight, our needs are met. We are out of debt and there's plenty more to put in store and we will never ever have another broke day in our lives again in Jesus name. We are anointed with the well favor of God. There where you sit, just speak it out loud in the atmosphere. I am anointed with the well favor of God. I am anointed with the well favor of God. I want you to repeat it until you, um, until you believe it. We are anointed with the well favor of God. God bless you. Shalom.